Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. A uh, quick tip. So today I've got another two for one special for you since you guys seem to like that so much. Today we are going to cover training rooms. Very, very important. And uh, I, I would argue the, uh, the backbone of your hospital. Um, now the training rooms are unlocked, I think a couple of levels in, uh, you get access to the training room. So obviously uh, play, play forward if you haven't unlocked these beasts yet, because these things are useful. Now I've got two different flavors of training rooms for you. And these two are useful depending on where you are with your hospital. Uh, so the first uh, training room is, well, unimaginatively un un called the basic training room, the space saver, if you will. The space saver uh, training room is the bare minimum size here. This is this is the type of training room that you want to use when uh, you're at the very beginning of a level. Um, when, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot of space available, you don't have a lot of money available, but you still want to get this thing up uh, and running before you even unpause. Uh, it's that important. So, door goes over here, lectern goes, uh, oh, I'd say uh, uh, up, up here. It is actually useful to um, have the uh, have the lectern be. Well, actually, we can actually get away with it over over here a little bit more. Sort of a backwards facing lectern. More on that uh, in a little bit. Now, as far as our trainee desks, we want those uh, somewhat closer to the door. That way, the uh, the trainees can get into the classroom and uh, take their seats. Um, you, I'd say two, two to three is is all you really need. Three, three is um, I, I can't really see doing a training program with more than three people, just because that would take way too many doctors or slash nurses slash whatever off your floor at one time. Um, so I'd say three is a pretty good number, uh, and you don't even have to use all three seats every time you train. You could you could have a class of one, uh, even though there are three available seats. Anyway. Uh, other room essentials, if you have a temp, if you need a temperature fixer, go ahead and do your temperature fixer. Usually right behind the lectern is a pretty good idea. That way it covers the whole room. Uh, no need for idle animation stuff, coffee makers, hand sanitizers, and the like. There are no idle animations, uh, or at least they don't get out of their seats to do idle, uh, idle things during class. They fuss around in their chairs, but they won't use these complimentary items in the room, so don't bother. Now, one big thing that you do want to uh, uh, get, and this is uh, unlocked through, I think, um, uh, getting additional stars and also kudosh, is the anatomy poster or the brain anatomy poster. They're essentially the same thing. They just look different. They cost the same and they have the same effect. Plus 1% training speed. And look how cheap these things are. This is, um, I mean, 100% or $100 for only a 1% boost, but you compare that to a medicine cabinet for diagnostic slash treatment, and that's a thousand bucks per one percent so we can get a lot of effect out of these uh, and they hang on the wall um, so what we uh, what we want to do here is actually along this wall and along here we don't want them but what we do want is back here just uh, scooch them up like this boom 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 and they they intersect with each other perfectly like nobody actually has to interact with these um, now, yeah, you'll have a, you'll run into a little a little space hiccup there, but that's fine. You just skip over it and uh, go to the other side of the wall, and then you can do one here and one here, like so. Um, now for the gold star awards, because we do want attractiveness and more prestige to keep everyone in the room happy, uh, we can do a couple of these. In the spaces where you couldn't put the posters on this side, you can put the gold star awards. And then you'll want at least, um, at least one, actually, you know, one or two, uh, of the gold star awards next to, uh, the students. Uh, uh, let's just do one here. Uh, and then the rest of the space you can fill up with anatomy posters. And like I said, anatomy or brain anatomy, it does not matter. Um, they all have the same exact effect. Um, and that's about all we can fit in here. 
Now, um, we could go a little bit crazier with a few more percentage items, uh, bookcases, encyclopedia cases, anatomy models, but those cost a lot more uh, um, for the same 1% effect. And since the whole design philosophy of this particular room is that we're building it at the beginning of the level, I'm going to say don't bother. Um, the, the cost and uh, benefit ratio is not worth it at the very beginning of a level. As you can see, this whole room kitted out like this only costs uh, a bit over 10,000 bucks, which you can afford uh, as part of your starting 200,000 uh, uh, bucks um, on, a, on a normal level here. So this absolutely works out for you. Um, I mean, later on when you get, when money becomes a little bit less, uh, less critical, you can, you can always edit uh, more expensive option, uh, uh, items into the room and just throw some bookcases and what have you down here along the walls. Bada boom, bada bing. Now this uh, room right here, if we uh, start a training course here, let's just say general practice two with a guest trainer. Um, this would cost an estimated uh, duration of 37 days. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I mean, your training always takes your doctors and nurses and what have you uh, out of commission for a while. Uh, but all those training posters will cut down the amount of time that it would take. Um, now then, let's take things up a notch and um, go for a more late game If build. our previous room was called the Space Saver Training Room, this one is called the Space Invader for more than one reason. And again, do not build this as part of your uh, opening uh, expenditure. You will not have enough money to build everything else. Uh, but this can be darn useful later in the game. Uh, once you've got your finances in order. So we're going to start here with a five by five. And I say start because it's not going to finish that way. Uh, put the door right here in the corner right here and the lectern right next to it. So sort of the initial uh, in initial opening here with... Um, uh, as as the other one as, as the other room goes now for this room we're actually only going to be fitting two um, uh, uh, lecture chairs here two trainee desks so it actually despite its greater size it's going to have a lower capacity but we're going to make up for that in other ways uh, and that is we're going to go up here and click the subtract from room button and we're going to do a little shaving we are going to go bada boom bada bing we're going to carve away these two Carve away that, carve away that, carve away that, and carve away that. We're going to kind of turn this room into Swiss cheese, which is fine. The room b remains valid as long as there is a 3x3 three three block in there somewhere, which we have here in the front. So the others are just kind of peripheral fluff. But there's a reason. There's a, there's a method to my madness behind uh, carving it up like this and not making it a solid, uh, a solid room like this. Uh, the main reason for that is, well, if you haven't guessed it, um, our bonuses. Now, let's uh, let's place our radiator here. Um, yeah, right here is fine, just along the desks here. Not necessarily the fastest way for students to get in. And, and actually, can we... Uh, oops. We could... We, it could... It would be a little bit faster to have the door on this side, like that. But that will mess with actually with our placement. So we're going to put it on here because we're going to be getting speed boosts elsewhere. You'll see what I'm talking about right then. So let us go and get our bonus item. So we're going to start with the uh, with the anatomy posters here. These things are still worth it, even when we have a, a essentially unlimited budget. Um, and what we want to do is we want to line pretty much all the walls with these things. Um, so, let me do that real quick. Okay, the only places I did not put posters were going to be places where I do gold Star Wars, and that's for the attractiveness bonuses. Uh, one to keep the speaker happy, in case you're using your own people uh, for that. And then a couple back here to keep our students happy. 
like so. But we're not done yet. Because we essentially have an unlimited budget for this, we can go even deeper. So the next item we're going to be placing here is going to be, and this is unlocked, um, I believe, with some uh, as an end of level reward uh, for one of the stars, is the Encyclopedia Bookcase 2. Um, it is twice as expensive as the Encyclopedia Bookcase 1, but it also gives us twice the benefit for uh, the exact same space. So Again, this is a late game build. This is going to be very expensive, um, but this is worth it here. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be putting these in the alcoves facing outwards like this. One, two, one, two. Um, and now for here, for these longer alcoves, we put them out like this. Um, and put them along the walls here like so. One, two, three, four where we are this is racking up the cost but it's also racking up the training bonuses we're uh, using the control here to squeeze three along this wall like so and then these alcoves go bada boom bada bing but we're not done yet there's even more we can squeeze in here uh so we are actually going to go to our friend the anatomy model now the anatomy model is probably the least efficient um because it costs space it costs money but it's a solid object it doesn't depend on being on the wall and we can squeeze them in uh on these little alcoves like this we can squeeze two of them in here like this and not run afoul of uh, pathing issues or or what have you uh, so one, two, one, two. Um, you can't really squeeze them too too well into these bigger alcoves, but that's okay. Um, you could probably uh, get away with a couple here along the side as well. Um, so now this is <laughs> kind of an ugly mess of a room. Uh, and it costs us 113,700 bucks. Like I said, don't build this until later game when you're financially stable. But the practical upshot of this monster, start training course. Let's do same, same patient, same course, same guest trainer. Um, and estimated duration, 16 days. So we've, oh, we've just about cut the training time in half. Uh, so you can get people in and out of this training room quickly um, and, uh, and train up your staff a lot faster. So this is, again, later in the hospital. Don't do this as your starter. Uh, so that is this Space Invader. It also kind of looks like a Space Invader, you know, the, the, from the, the, the old school video game. Uh, so I hope you guys found these training rooms helpful. Uh, so if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!